Hello and welcome back to playing more StarMate. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, weapon systems that I'm putting on our Dreadnought. Um, I had a few comments about missile usage and I've been experimenting around and um, I found uh, how to work them a little bit better anyways. Uh, right now on the destroyer we have the lock-on missiles. They are the um, Oh, I forget the model number. They're not the heat-seeking missiles, but they're the lock-on rockets. And so, in a lot of my previous videos, I was having trouble firing them. Um, what uh, Usually what I'd use is the mouse wheel to scroll around the action bar and select the missiles to fire them. Uh, what you actually have to do is, it doesn't go into the missile lock-on mode when you do that. You need to press the hotkey that's assigned to it by, by pressing 2. So if I press 1 that'll switch me back to the guns. You can see the large reticle it just shrunk so that that's for the cannons and when I hit 2 that'll make it larger so if I bring a target into the field such as my base turret so that goes and now that it's locked on if I fire the missiles they will track in on their target. Um, obviously it gives you a brief period of time and then it reestablishes a lock so I don't want to fire it so, um, at, at my base turret um, but keep in mind that uh, I was sort of working around the, uh, what I was going to do with the weapon systems on the Dreadnought, sort of not getting these lock-on missiles right. Um, that being said, with the Dreadnought being as large as it is, I'm not really putting main weapons on it. Um, the main cannon is not really going to be for fighting enemy ships, it's more for say bases or static defenses or maybe other large ships that maybe we can spawn in and um, something that where aiming isn't the most necessary thing but I do have a lot of cannons on it so uh, you know we can hit moving targets uh, the main defense for the uh, dreadnought is going to be its turrets so I'll give you a look at some of the turrets I was uh, design I was working on here um, let me see, our destroyer's been taking quite a bit of damage. We've been under attack by pirates occasionally. Um, say so I've been doing a little bit more filling out on the um, on the dreadnought. And what I have is basically the gun design uh, that's inside the turret. Uh, right now, I have all these energy cubes I, I, and engines. That's just for sort of maneuvering around and testing when it, the actual model doesn't have any energy generators on it at all. I'm going to be running them completely from the ship energy. Um, so these are basically the same type of coil designs that I was working on and I put four of them in together and then in the actual turret I basically just filled up all the space in here with shield generators so that they'd have a large number of hit points and all the space inside the guns. I just uh, stuff shield generators in the entire thing. And so if I get in here, when I was testing it out, uh, it seems to be quite effective. And see, about doing 170 points of damage. And now it's actually able to bring down the shields of my base, which, you know, up to this point, I haven't really developed a cannon that was able to do that. But as you can see, that's, I don't want to start blowing a hole through my shield yet. And it'll even take down the shields of our uh, of our destroyer. So I'm thinking this is going to be an effective cannon. Um, and I'll show you the production model here. I'll get in the rover. That's it. As the the build has been getting quite a bit larger, it's been a little, a little more difficult to to maneuver around it quickly. So I like having this little craft around to help get around places easier. Now, what I was doing with the cannons here is basically because it's going to be so huge, it's going to be difficult to turn around and aim. Um, I'm using dumb fire missiles, um, so that's going to um, be great against static targets and then I have the antimatter cannons and what I've done they're about 31 squares long each and then I sort of offset back 
uh, lot. So so each so basically each sort of square within this grid is going to be firing an antimatter cannon and will would fire also a missile. Um, it's really actually quite devastating. I um, was testing it out with just the first row and I accidentally shot a hole I'm going a little squirrely here right through my starbase uh, that went through <laughs> just a couple shots um, and that went through the outside the shield the outside armor the hard armor went through the shield generators on the uh, inside and the energy generators <laughs> and just went right outside the, the so it just yeah it it blasted a hole pretty much right through the station so I'm thinking that's I, I was gonna fill it up but um, I think at this point this is probably sufficient it might be a little excessive if I fill that up and I, I'm still not quite sure the gener uh, energy generation seems to be fine with what I have right now so um, that and and what these turrets are going to draw I'm not quite sure so um, that's part of the reason I, I left a lot of space open is I may need to add you know more generators uh, to the ship so this is the guns that I basically stuffed full of shield generators and um, and then just encased in armor um, some hardened armor to, to give it a bit of an effect and those are over the, the actual gun port so that's extra armor there um, so they're pretty handy so so they don't actually have any power generation on on the turret itself which is what I wanted because I want them to draw off the main ship which is going to have a lot much larger reserve of power so um, even though you see the power bar on the right hand side is basically down to nothing that the turret itself has no power it's drawing from the ship and it's able to continue fire you know fire continuously without any problems whatsoever um, and it can yeah easily take down um, even our destroyer I think just one of these turrets say if I keep it on there long enough it will take down the uh, shields Also, don't want to do more damage than, than necessary. Uh, so that's that's going to be one of the turrets. Uh, I have one more on the other side mounted. If I can get up there quickly enough. So so I have two two on those those pylons right now. Um, probably going to be having several more on the front and the sides. Um, Maybe a couple underneath as well. Um, I've extended out, so I've sort of continued to, to fill in a little bit of the, the space here, so it's it's starting to take shape. Um, so that's the update on the Dreadnought and the weapon systems that are going to be on her. Thank you for watching. So long for now.